You wanted scary cave creatures. No? Well, too bad. You clicked this. Here we go. Here are the top 10 scary creatures discovered living in caves. It's horrible. Let's dive in. Kicking off the list at number 10, the Texas Blind Salamander. Three red flags right in the name alone. Texas, Blind, and Salamander. They say everything is bigger in Texas. Please don't let that be true for this creepy crawly. Please. Unless you live around the Edwards Plateau in Texas, you don't have to worry about these guys while you're spelunking. The Texas Blind Salamander can only be found in the deep cave systems, and you'll know when you see it. It kind of looks like one of Khaleesi's dragons from Game of Thrones. It's got red gills on the back of their pale heads, and like many others on this list, it is a adapted completely to the dark. These salamanders lost their vision, but it's totally fine. It's chill. They don't need eyes. They move their head around slowly and they sense changes in water pressure. That's just the start too. How horrible. Let's do it. Number nine, blind cave fish. So a lot of these creatures, if not all of them, they're, they're blind. Spoiler alert. That's the fun beauty of this list. All these creatures live in pure darkness their entire lives, so they need to find other ways to hunt. Some of them sense water pressure changes, but when it comes to the Mexican tetra, aka the blind cave fish, they don't even need eyes at all. Not even for show. Awesome. This is horrifying. They were discovered originally in 1936 in Sierra del Abra, Mexico. If you thought your high school had clicks, you're not ready for the blind cave fish. Since they don't have eyes at all, cave fish rely purely on sonar clicks in order to stay in their respective schools. Yeah, not a bad click pun there, right? You guys are like, wait, why was he? Oh, I get it. Some of these fish will eventually see light and that's not bizarre, but when that happens, they slowly develop eyes and vision. How insane is that? That's only if they're near surface rivers. Imagine and just growing eyes and then seeing light. What a Wednesday that ought to be. Number eight. The Olm. Okay, I'll give you one more before we get into the gross spiders. The Olm, our number eight today is, dare I say it, he's a little cute. He's kind of cute. I want to rub his little head. I don't know how laws work here uh, at all. I just see a fish and I'm like, I hope it's not National Geographic, if that helps. I mean, the lack of eyes here is a little jarring, sure, but the Olm compared to the rest of this list, uh, it's a breath of fresh air. The Olm was the first ever troglobite to be discovered, meaning the first ever creature that lives purely in a dark cave. And given the fact that it's pale, eyeless, and it looks like a dragon, Croatia folk back in the 18th century, they thought that they were looking at a literal dragon for a hot minute. Yeah, more than fair, more than fair. I have unlimited resources online right now, and even so, 30% of me thinks that's a dragon, for sure. It could probably breathe fire, right? If you see this little guy, don't try and slay it. Leave it alone. Water pollution has made the Olm a vulnerable species. We just did a list on extinct animals we're trying to bring back to life. Let's also preserve the blind dragons while we're at it, okay? Cheers. Hit that thumbs up for blind amphibians. Number seven, the cave robber spider. I warned you, I did warn you. You wanted it, here it is. The worst thing ever. Welcome to Most Amazing. That's why we're here. That's why I'm here, rather. The cave robber spider, or troglaraptor, can't tell which is worse there, oh my gosh, is a quick little cave predator that has a fun addition over your standard spider. Yeah, the cave robber has claws on the end of its legs. Yeah, you thought it couldn't get any worse, did you? Well, wrong. Here we go. The cave robber spider likes to hang from its web from, you know, atop these pitch black caves. Then when it feels something a little too close for comfort passing down below, it snaps. It snaps its prey with claws, like a praying mantis, only in dark caves, and also a spider. I'm gonna be sick. This is horrible. If you live in Southwest Oregon, I am so sorry. Please do not explore any caves. Just just stay home. Just stay home. Play Nintendo. That's it. Number six, Kawaii Cave Spider. Hungry for more cave spiders, are we? No sweat. Let's do it. This one does not have eyes. Sans eyes. No eyes. Somehow worse than the last one, right? First discovered in 1971 in, you guessed it, Kauai Island, Hawaii. One of our fans, Alan Bennington Castro, this one's for you living in Hawaii. Yeah. How's the sun? How's the tan? This is what you get for living in paradise. It's referred to as the blind wolf spider, and if your palms are also sweating right now, they're one of the most rare creatures in the world, okay? So only 30 have ever been documented. More than fair. Uh, what's that, 31? Oh. One's missing, that's odd. I think researchers are finding more like out in public. They're just not down to take photos or get close. That's what I believe in, really. Forget that, I would quit in that cave if I saw one of these. Since it's lived in darkness its entire life, it doesn't have eyes. There's no need for them. That's so scary, that's horrible to look at. The spider is considered endangered. That's all thanks to humans splunking and bringing toxic chemicals like nicotine around. Plus we also attract non-native predators every time we leave food in these cave expeditions. So good on us. These spiders are great hunters, but they're not that great. We gotta stop, leave the caves alone. Number five, the rat snake. Not to be confused with the rattlesnake, that's another horror entirely. The rat snake is found over North and Central America. And it pains me to say this, but they're kind of common. Yeah, there's one type of rat snake though, and this has made its home in the Mexican jungles. And locals refer to this cave as the cave of hanging snakes. Why would you even go in if someone's, oh, what's it called? No problem, not going in. This cave is chock full of bats. So these snakes are talking to one another. They made a little snake heist, a little snake plan, and they decided to hang out in the walls and the ceiling and wait for all these bats to leave 
the cave or come back in. Yeah, how horrible is that? They dangle by their tails and grab a bat mid-flight. Yeah, I didn't like snakes before this list. Then I saw this. Number four, Preotichthys andruzzi. This species of cypronid fish. Okay, of course it lives in complete darkness. Not new. But the wow factor here with this cave fish is that they have evolved to live in complete darkness for over two million years. They've been without eyes for a while, unlike the other fish that I mentioned earlier. They can only be found in Somalia, and it's the first ever animal in history that does not adjust its biological clock with the sun. How cool is that? Its days are around 47 hours long. A fish that can naturally process time and numbers without the sun. That's the coolest thing on our list today. I think that's definitely the coolest. Number three, cave crayfish. And we're back to creepy crawlies. I gave you a break there with the fish again, but sadly, there's more happening on the ceilings of these dark caves. Ugh. I'm Canadian, so I've seen crayfish in lakes and all that already. Not a fan. Now we got cave crayfish? Come on, man. The thing with these troglobites is that they have a small amount of food their entire lives. They live in areas without the sun. That's a huge lack of nutrition. That's why they're all so pale. That's why they all look like me in February. Very pale. In turn, this crayfish is quite slow. We love that. Why rush, you know? Take it slow. Chill out, man. In fact, some of these cave crayfish have lived to be 175. Again, they like to take it real slow. Number two cave harvestman. Okay, yeah, don't let the looks fool you. This creepy cave dweller is not a spider. It's an apillion. It's a completely different arachnid. It's actually cousins to daddy long legs. Why do we call this one daddy cave legs? I don't know. Like commit or don't, you know, but daddy thing's weird with bugs. They're one of the most common when it comes to these dark cave creatures. They're so common that some residents in the States have actually tried and went to court. <laughs> yeah, hear this out. The bone cave harvestman only lives in central Texas. And back in 2014, a nonprofit group filed a petition to have it delisted. So imagine putting on a dress shirt and going to court? Like, oh, do you have jury duty? No, I actually went to go fight the existence of a spider. Sorry, a non-spider. Number one, Sinocalypus. Yeah, we had to save the one that sounds like a Decepticon for last. That's only fair. The Sinocalypus, or Sinocalypus if you're fancy, is one of the coolest creatures I've ever seen. It looks like a shrimp with the head of a much larger ant. Take that back. Instead of cool, scary. It's a very scary creature. It's a cave-dwelling millipede. Ah, here you go, folks. Nightmares for number one. There you go. Out of the six known species, five of them are often found hiding in limestone caves in Southeast Asia, and they come in many shapes and sizes. But since they live in complete darkness, their legs are even longer than your average millipede, and it's pale, so you won't see it coming, really. Its antenna is also quite long, too, so if you feel a little itch on the back of your neck, could be this guy right here. The only good news here is that their eyesight isn't all that dandy, right? But after everything I just said, does that really make a difference, do you think? No, it doesn't. If you want a part two of this disgusting list, I will happily return. I've been your host, Taylor McWaters. See you next time on Most Amazing Top 10. <sighs>